Lego made this design for the B1 battle droid 25 years ago, and aside from the addition of a straight arm in 2007, it's remained pretty much exactly the same. I made a video about this topic just over a year ago, and we've seen some changes for the better with Lego droids, and some things haven't changed at all. So let's talk about it. Starting with the standard battle droid, some of the top comments on the video that I made stated that the design is perfect and they don't wanna see any changes made whatsoever. I still disagree with this take. And apparently I'm far from being the only one because Clone Army Customs have gone and made what I consider to be essentially the perfect battle droid. This video isn't sponsored and I paid for these with my own money. I'm just super excited that somebody finally decided to go and do something about this. These B1 droids are designed by NanoRex and produced by Clone Army Customs and they solve all the issues I have with the official B1. Their wrists can articulate just like a Lego minifigure, which I don't think is completely necessary, but I like it. The shape of the arm looks much more natural holding a blaster as opposed to the official droid from Lego which has a fully extended arm. The backpacks for these droids look amazing and they can be used with your official droids from Lego as well. In fact, most of these parts can be mixed with official droids and you can even purchase different elements individually to customize things exactly how you want to. The most important factor here though, in my opinion, are the movable legs. I mean, come on, this is such a huge improvement. Can you really be satisfied with the posability option Options of a Lego droid when you can have this instead? While I think this is great for the B1, these droids spend most of their time walking around slowly in the movies, so maybe you could make the argument that they don't need movable legs. I would still disagree with you, but hey, to each their own. You know what really needs movable legs though? These guys. Commando droids jump and run all over the place, and I'm really excited to see these ones from Clone Army Customs and NanoRex move into production. Anyways, back to the B1. The best part about these is that with the 20% off sale that was running, these guys cost me $3.60 a piece. And that goes for every color variation. If you want to pick up official Lego dark orange battle droids, there are only like 30 of them for sale on Bricklink in the US. And the sand red ones are even more rare and expensive at around $30 each. Clone Army Customs did a pretty good job color matching with official Lego colors. So their new droids are a fantastic and in my opinion, superior alternative especially if you're a mock builder. Next up, I want to talk about the Super Battle Droid. It's been nine years since we got a Super Battle Droid in a set, and LEGO finally made a brand new mold for 2024. I am so happy to see these guys make a return, and they look pretty good. As some others have said, these new Super Battle Droids look like the HD version of the old one. I wish they would have given them movable legs, but hey, I'll take what I can get here. This has been long overdue. I would really like to see the return of Commando Droids, maybe some B1 Droids with color variants, variations, tactical droids, and something like an aqua droid, which they've never made before. Either way, I really hope they get some good mileage out of these new super battle droids and put them in some droid-focused Lego sets because things have been really lacking in that category in recent years. This new Trade Federation AAT polybag is the first dedicated separatist or Trade Federation Lego set we've gotten in the last three years, and we haven't gotten more than one or two of these sets together in a release wave since 2014. The last Hailfire droid came out in 2015. The last droid gunship was released in 2019. We haven't gotten an MTT since 2014, and the last snail tank came out over 10 years ago. Look, LEGO has been doing a great job of making clone-focused sets over the past three years, and it's been super nice. But if you ask me, I think we really need droid-focused sets to round things out here. I would love to see some remakes of older sets, but there is so much opportunity here for even more. I think it would be fantastic to see something like a UCS Lucra Hulk droid control ship or a separate just MTT in blue and gray. I know I'm not the only one that wants to see more droid focused Lego sets, and I think this is something we need to keep talking about until Lego recognizes that there is demand here. Let me know in the comments section down below which droid focused sets you'd like to see from Lego. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe.